Nagi and Rayo are being cyberbullied, Ego and Noah still fight like an old married couple, and so many people now think the match is confirmed to have warped rules. What an interesting week. What's going on everyone, it's Animasu here as always with another weekly chapter review. We're going to be taking a look at Blue Lock's 247th chapter today, titled Originality. I'm sure you already know the vibes, but if you enjoy the content I push out and would like to support your local Blue Lock YouTuber, please make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, commenting on my videos, and even join the community discord if that interests you. As always, I hope you have an amazing day, and please enjoy the video. Nagi and Rayo are dragging their feet too much. No wonder their salaries are down. Super goal by the one-hit wonder Nagi. Do something, Chris Prince. Sit them on the bench and make a new team. With Rayo scrolling through the in-universe version of Twitter, he's noticing that a lot of the tweets seem to be negative on them. Specifically, as he scrolls more, he's noticing that everyone's attention seems to be mainly on Nagi. Nagi, the one-hit wonder. That super goal must have been a fluke. This is win or bust Nagi. Finally looking up from his phone, Rayo looks over to the left as he asks Nagi if they could talk for a minute. Now obviously these two are in dire need of a serious conversation, and Nagi seems to be more than willing to listen. Rayo explains that with him now dropping down to 16th place with a 34 million bid, he's starting to feel pretty uneasy about his spot. After all, the cutoff point is currently at 23rd at 18 million by Raichi, leaving Rayo pretty close to falling down. Rayo then goes on to explain how Nagi is still in the safe zone with his 40 million bid, so if they mess up this game, Rayo could end up dropping to 24th or lower. I say Rayo, but he repeatedly uses the phrases we here, even though as he said, Nagi is not currently at risk. He goes on to start up a motivational speech about how they need to show results and keep going, however Nagi is already on it. Leaving a confused look on Rayo's face, Nagi goes on to say that he's been thinking about the exact same things. Rayo, we need to change. Now this kind of self-realization and being open about it seems very important to Nagi's development, as he seems to be taking self-accountability far more. It started with asking Baru and Itoshi Rain for advice, but I think Nagi is now fully ready to bounce back against Bartra. With more tweets popping up on the screen, Nagi explains that he's actually been feeling off ever since they won the first round. Doesn't Nagi look like someone that only shines when surrounded by amateurs? The genius disappeared. Holding his head a bit lower than usual, Nagi goes on to explain that he just can't get that intense fever to come back. With us then even seeing supportive tweets rooting him on, he realizes that neither the moment nor his rivals will wait for him. Everyone will continue to advance further and further ahead with their own solidified egos, leaving Nagi to only play catch up, or even worse, to fall off completely. In this absolutely stunning panel here, Nagi intensely states that if they don't keep changing, then they'll never reach the world's number one spot. He then goes on to tell Rayo once more that they will change, asking him to bring forth some sort of new heat from him. Apparently Rayo has an idea from all of this, but I just want to point out one specific detail. They are still saying we and us, even in scenarios when it's not applicable. I just really hope that Nagi's dependent ego does not lead to FC Barcha catching a W. Anyways, the chapter then cuts over to the Germany team's monitoring room, where Noel Noah seems to be holding a strategy meeting. With them stating that they'll use a style providing them with many options, we can also see the formation in the back, which does confirm my thought of Isagi and Kaiser spearheading the offense together. Also with Hiori at defensive midfielder, we could see a lot of interesting combinations, as just like he said, he'll pass to any striker who he deems worthy. With Noah finishing up going over the plan with them, he also has some motivational words of wisdom to impart. Those who come in second will never be remembered, as if you're not number one, then you are nobody in this world. Then walking away from them with an intense look, Noah confidently states that they will win this game, and make their mark in history. Being Noah's son and all, of course Isagi had to back up his pops by agreeing in unison. Noah however tells them all that he'll be heading off to bed now, and passing off his spot to a very special guest. Go ahead, dictator. With Igo Jinpachi himself leaning into the room, the two of them are already beefing with one another right off the spot. Igo literally tells him to get the hell out and go to bed while calling him a bastard, and Noah just lets that one roll off the chin, unbothered. I'm trying to get that know all know mentality in all honesty, because my guy is just a robot. Everyone else being confused on Ego's arrival, he walks in explaining himself. Apparently he just wanted to personally give Bastard Munich a few words before their final matchup against France's undefeated PHG. Ego is once again exposing exactly who his favorite child is, so Itoshi Rin better count his days. He goes on to say that when they first started out the new Egoist League, he gave them all what he believes to be the key to win. As he already remembers correctly, this was their proof of originality. What makes them unique, special, or stand out from their competition? 
but them now facing off against the strength of the real world teams, leaving them fighting through a bidding system. Ego asked them all what their originality now means to them. It can't be their own personal playstyle or even what value they've accumulated, as those are nothing more than just superficial answers. In a panel that brings me back to the start of Blue Lock, Ego exclaims that originality equals hunger, plain and simple. It's not something you're born with, nor something you're taught. What makes a person's originality is what they specifically hunger for. This concept of what makes them unique has been seen numerous times in the cases of Baru, Itoshi Rin, and Isagi, with all three being very goal-orientated egoists. They all desire their own personal future or success, which makes their path to the top even smoother. With flashbacks being seen of Isagi Yoichi's winning goal and celebration, Ego goes on to say that in order for them to achieve victory in the NEL, they've had to do numerous things. Use rationality to commit to a role, follow their own ideals, and most importantly, voluntarily destroy and recreate themselves time and time again. This atmosphere and pressure has all been building up to asking themselves one simple question, being, what do I want to be? Showing a couple of people on the roster, we then get to see their desires through the perspective of Ego, who happens to be spot on. Igiguri wants to become a regular on any team and just gain a bid. Raichi and Hiyori are on the border of the top 23 and simply want to survive. Kunigami wants to spin back on Shido and get it back in blood, and Isagi Yoichi obviously strives to become the absolute number one. Ego exclaims to them that this hunger happens to be their originality, which has been revealed through trial and tribulation in his new Egoist League. In a once again stunning panel that seems to be in Isagi's mind, Ego goes on to say that the world is waiting for them, for the unique challenging focus of theirs. This is the radiance of a footballer. Also, I just want to confirm this because other creators are clout goblins and just want views, but nowhere in this chapter does it confirm that the match will have any rule changes or be 90 minutes. This is purely speculation and people trying to overview the leaks before translations due to them wanting more views, which is exactly why I simply have patience and wait 30 minutes for the damn translations. Oh, <coughs> Senshi. Anyways, Ego goes on to say that those who keep fighting through this crazy frenzy are people he would consider to be professionals, with Kyorajin once again being spotlighted here. With a twisted grin on his face, Ego Jinpachi only has one final question for them. So my hungry egoist, are you ready to shine bright? With that being the end of today's chapter, all we're left with is the upcoming chapter 248 title, being Final Fight. For those of you unaware, this is referring to the start of the Bastyr Munich vs PXG match as it has been confirmed to be starting in this next chapter. Make sure to comment down below what you believe will take place in 248, such as banter between the teams, formation changes, and possibly even kickoff. As always, I just want to thank you all so much for the support you show me. If you enjoy the content I push out and would like to support the channel, please do check that you've subscribed to the channel, are commenting on my videos, and even check out my community discord if that interests you. I hope you all continue to have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one.